this is Jeff Hurley. I'm the MVPN Peer Service Coordinator with the Andrews Center in Camp B. And last week we came to you during our Mental Health Minute to talk about the concept, the five key concepts of RAP, and just to give you a highlight of what RAP is. And this week, the first key concept out of five is hope. And I think that's an, an important concept to start any type of wellness with, that whether that's a recovery from a physical injury, a trauma, um, Anything that it could be just be a bad day at work, whatever helps you get back to your natural state of happiness, your uh, your most productive state of mind. And the definition of hope is very straightforward. And I, I want to use that just to give you the idea um, of what the dictionary says hope means, because it's a direct reflection. It's an optimistic state of mind that is based on an expectation of positive outcomes with respect to events and circumstances in one's life or the world at large. RAP is based on the premise that there are no limits to recovery and there is much to hope for. It is essential that you have a sense of hope and there is much for you to hope for. You can get well and stay well for long periods of time. You can work towards and meet your goals. You can lead a happy and productive, productive life. The core essence of RAP is personal. It's not necessarily a tool that someone else uses. Like for instance, as a service provider, I'm not going to use RAP as a tool for me to help you. RAP is a tool that I give to you to use for yourself because it's very self-driven. Everyone's rap, which will make more sense as we go through the other five concepts, is very individual. Every part of the, the toolkit, the recovery process is tailored to the individual. And you don't need, nor will you benefit from dire predictions about your future. Your supporters, your care providers, they need to inspire hope that encourage you and helps you to feel better and assist and supports you in staying well. Remember, in wellness recovery, the focus is on individual strengths and away from perceived deficits as determined by you or others. So hope is a short definition, but it has a very broad reach in how it impacts every step of recovery, every type of evidence-based therapy that's used from CBT to just marriage counseling, you name it in the mental health field, hope is this key anchor point to help predict outcomes for that individual. And speaking of that, which we all know we're in a, in a time, uh, a crazy time right now between uh, diseases and, and politics and, and divide and all the other things that may be plaguing us daily that can impact our wellness. I want to leave you with five tips to help build resilience and help maintain your hope. And the first one is to be open to changes and flexibility. And the second is keep things in perspective. The third, take care of yourself with activities that you enjoy. Prioritize your relationship is the fourth tip. And last but not least, ask for help if you need it. That includes from a neighbor, a friend, can't be, the Andrews Center, another peer. Just make sure that you do reach out. You don't keep it to yourself. And each week we'll keep building upon different ways to help you reach your wellness, stay well, as we bring other partners, myself, uh, to help give us in our community tidbits on staying healthy and well. And just like last time, make sure you hit follow, like, and subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.